Middle children are thought to get the short end of the stick. Hand-me-downs, less attention, and a resentful outlook on life. But it's not true. Here are five things you never knew about middle children. First up, the middle child syndrome is totally bogus. An author who helped write the book on middle children tells Insider, middles can feel overlooked and a bit excluded, but they usually grow out of it. Because they may have had to fend for themselves as attention was being paid to their older and younger siblings, middles tend to be more independent. Since they aren't taking on responsibilities like the firstborn or depending on others like the baby in the family, a psychologist tells Reader's Digest middle children benefit from this distance and become more well-rounded individuals. That's why it's unsurprising they form stronger bonds with siblings and friends than with their parents. It's because they usually spend less time with their parents growing up. Middles make loyal friends. Middle children are good negotiators because they've had practice mediating family fights. Think good listening skills and a lot of patience. This can pay off in their relationships with others and in the business world. All of that mediation helps middles go with the flow, rather than be stubborn. The idea is that parents are more relaxed once the second kid comes around. That relaxed attitude usually gets passed on to the child. Talk about a good kind of hand-me-down.